Surrender now, or I will use deadly force. This thing has come to an end. You know that. You're exactly what I expected. We were looking for a low achiever. Where's the press, Cap? I think Phelps and I should get a medal for this. This has got to be the case of the year, right? The case of the century, when you think about it. Are you finished? Yes, Skipper. Good. Because there won't be any press briefings or commendations. What are you talking about? We got the werewolf, the guy who killed the Dahlia, killed all the other broads. You've got no one. Mason was a ghost. Can you at least tell us why, Captain? Mason is the half-brother of one of the most highly elected officials in this country. How high? Beyond the moon for mere mortals like us, Rusty. There'll be no more mention of it. The city owes you both. But there'll be no mileage in ever bringing this up again. What's gonna happen to the suspects in the cases, Captain? I won't be a part of that. A bit of missing evidence at the grand jury. A procedural error here, a mistake there. And all be quietly let go. The DA knows how we have to play it. That's it? I'm afraid it is. And I have some news for you, Phelps. No more rooting around in the entrails of cadavers and corpses for you. The head of vice has asked the chief for you. I'm reluctant to see you go to the glory boards of advice, but my hands are tied. Go home to that lovely wife of yours. Celebrate your Out, kid, you'll go purple. I'm scared, Sarge. Everybody's scared, kid. Anyone who says he isn't is a damn liar. How many times have you been in combat, Sarge? I was with Raider Battalion on Peleliu my first time. Was it bad? It's always bad. Will this be bad? As bad as it gets, kid. But you stick by the Marine next to you, and he will stick by you. So some of the guys, they aren't very friendly, Sarge. They've lost a lot of their friends in the last couple of days, kid. They think if they don't get to know you, that they won't have to grieve for you if you get killed. They're wrong. It doesn't work that way. Don't worry. No Marine in this company will let you down. Phelps, welcome to Vice. This is your new partner, Roy Earl. Take a seat. A special request was made to transfer you to add Vice. 
We need a man with your kind of starch on this desk, son. We have two dead Negroes found in an apartment this morning on Yucca Street. Number 6358, apartment 5. We got better things to be doing than wasting our time on two dead junkies. Did I ask your opinion, detective? Two men dead on U.S. Army issue morphine. That makes it an advice case. Beat it! Yes, sir. You and the lieutenant have some history? You could say that. We used to be partners. So, you're working with the big boys now, Cole? I guess so, Roy. I thought homicide was the primo assignment. That may be the case. I asked for you personally, Phelps. I had to pull a few strings to get you over to advice. How does it feel? The lieutenant seems to think I'm doing okay. Okay? <laughs> Don't get humble on me, Phelps. You're doing great. You're the department pinup boy. War hero and crime fighter. What a combination. I can assure you I'm no war hero, detective. Let's rouse some hop heads. Nice car, Roy. Is it department issue? No. My sled. You can't be seen slumming it in a gnash if you're in vice cold. Meanwhile, we got needle freaks kissing a goodbye all over Central Avenue. Getting in the vicinity, officer needs assistance. 8. It's up the stairs, detectives. Around the corner, last door on the left. Come on, Dunn. Carruthers. Phelps? I've been reassigned to advice. What have we got? Two stiffs, overdosed. Been dead a couple of days. Government issue morphine. We use the same surettes in Okinawa. Fucking Negro junkies can't take supply this pure. You know these guys? I know of them. The younger one's a two-bit horn player by the name of Cornell Tyree. The other one works in distribution. Started using a little too much of his own product, and Jack D took exception. He wasn't born that ugly. His name's Lamont. Tyrone Lamont. So who's supplying the drugs? That's easy. Whoever knocked off the wharves in San Pedro. Jack Dragna, Mickey Cohen. Dope's been all upside down ever since Jimmy Utley started the long walk at Quentin. You talk about it like it's a system. It was a system. But those days are long gone. We are supposed to uphold the law. Yeah, and we do. But we can't change people. The truth is, everyone wants the license to get a little dirty now and then. Our job is to keep it manageable. That's how you see it? See it any other way, and you better forget about being a vice cop. Can we get on with this today, preferably? Took his jolt and drifted off. And I suppose his friend wasn't in any condition to notice that he had stopped breathing. chance in life is probably better than no chance. These clowns lived on popcorn? Must 
have been messy eaters. It's all over the floor. One cigarette is enough to knock you out for combat trauma. Two of them will stop your heart. Say only the good die young. I hope it was true in your case. Who is JJ? And why do these two care about his taste in music? Looks like it was always going to end this way. between love of the needle and love of the music. Another special order from the Caesar. The street life have no idea how dangerous this stuff is. Preparation. Must have been the easiest fix these two ever had. Looks like something was taped to the bottom of the cup. I think I see a body. A bit heavy for an empty cup. right over the counter in broad daylight. The emperor across the street appears to shift a lot of popcorn. Let's shake him down. 